In this video, I'm talking about photos and images. Here are four of my favorite hidden features on your MacBook. Okay, so my first tip for photos on your Mac is actually copying and pasting text. So this is a really cool feature within all new MacBook Pros and MacBooks. All you have to do is double click to open an image in preview and you'll see that this image has text in it right down here. My cursor changes as I hover over this text. So that means that I can actually copy and paste just about any text in an image. So if I scroll over this and highlight it, and copy and paste that, it should show up right here in my note. And yep, you've got it copied and pasted right there. So this is a really cool feature in your Mac. So my next tip is all about editing photos within the preview application on your Mac. This is an often overlooked feature because people don't know about it, but you can actually double click on your image to open it in preview and open this little button where it says markup. And this is much more than just a tool for marking up your image. You can actually do some basic editing within this by clicking these little icons up here. So we have crop, we could crop our image and you can change different levels like contrast, exposure, etc. Uh, within this tab, you can add text or you can add overlays and things like that text by clicking this button or you can even do some basic editing with this smart selection tool so I can drag and select everything within that area copy it and paste it and so there's some fun little features you can do explore this tab and try it out so my next tip is one that I guarantee you're gonna have to use at some point in your life, and that is resizing images. So you'll see that I've got an image here that is about 3.1 megabytes in size. I'm gonna have trouble uploading that anywhere online. I want this file to be lower than two megabytes so that it uploads quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just double click to open it in preview. I've got the image right here, and then I go to file, export and now we'll make sure that the image is in jpeg format scroll this little tab on the quality right down to below two megabytes it's at 1.3 now and then i click save uh, i'll replace that file or i can make a copy of it depending on whether i want to keep the older bigger file so i'm going to replace it and now my file is only 1.3 megabytes and it'll upload online very easily all right, my final tip for images on your MacBook is gonna be really fun, and this is called the screenshot menu. So all you're gonna have to do is use the shortcut Shift, Command, Five, and you'll see this little menu pop up right at the bottom of your screen. This allows you to take different types of screenshot, not just your generic whole screenshot. So we can do capture the entire screen and you, to do that, you'll scroll back over and click. You can capture a selected window. So one specific window that's open, you can capture a selected portion of your screen. This allows you to kind of scroll and find exactly where you wanna capture. And these are all screenshots right here. We can also do screen recordings. So we, you can record the entire screen by clicking this button right here or a selected portion of your screen once again. And this will record uh, whatever's going on. So if you've got a video or uh, something specific or you're showing a tutorial, that's how you're gonna record your screen there. Finally, you can click options to change the settings within your actual uh, recording. So you can change whether you wanna record through your microphone, how long your timer will be, where you want to save the file. And this is really helpful if you've got other audio devices coming in or if you want to record your voice while you do a screen recording. By the way, this video is a part of my mini course, How to Use a MacBook Like a Pro. Sign up with the link below, it's totally free. And of course, subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on future videos and courses.